This video footage comes to us from Jonathan Lucas of Steamboat Geyser erupting for the 10th time this year on June 15th. I want to thank Jonathan Lucas for this footage and giving me permission to use this footage. A link to his YouTube channel is under this video. Go check his videos out, sub his channel, show him some support. Now while Steamboat Geyser goes off for a 10th time, scientists with Washington State University and the University of Idaho have devised a new way to estimate the amount of magma beneath Yellowstone National Park's supervolcano by measuring the heat loss through the park's various geological features. Jury Fairley, a professor with the Department of Geological Sciences at the UI and one of the lead researchers on the study, said that the new method involved dosing several hot springs with a benign stable hydrogen isotope called deuterium. Deuterium, Fairley explains, is a pervasive chemical throughout nature. He said scientists measured the amount of time it took for deuterium levels to return to normal as well as the temperatures of the hot springs to estimate the amount of water running through the system and the amount of heat loss. While their conclusions are still subject to debate, Fairley said the research has shown that magma beneath Yellowstone may be amassing much more quickly than was previously estimated. Quote, the work that we have done, it seems to indicate that there could potentially be up to twice as much heat being discharged as was previously thought, Fairley said. If there is twice as much heat coming up as we thought previously, that means there's twice as much magma coming up. So what does this mean? These scientists say that magma is amassing beneath the supervolcano at Yellowstone National Park faster than they previously thought. Could that be why Steamboat Geyser is erupting more frequently and it seems to be accelerating? Leave your comments below this video. Thanks for watching.